Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a kind of get ready with me video and I just had a birthday and on my birthday my license expired. Fantastic. So I went to, I actually went out to dinner the other night and I ordered a drink and they asked to see my ID and she's like, your license is expired, but I'll like let you have a free pass this time. And I was like, okay, I need to go do it. I'm like such a procrastinator. So I'm gonna go do that today. And I did this look for my driver's license photo. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did my makeup for this. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips throughout the video. If you guys are getting ready for like a driver's license photo or whatever, um, just to like kind of, I don't know. There's certain things I think that's good to do when you're getting ready for something like this because makeup, does have to be applied slightly different when you're going to be taking a picture, especially such a crappy picture like a driver's license photo. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. This was not really super planned. Like I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted lips and I wanted my eyes to be like cooler toned versus like a warm tone. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. All right guys, so I started off by priming my face and then I used this Stay Don't Stray eye primer and I actually put it on my nose and this is a really good tip for you guys. Um, I always end up having separation on my nose and my foundation never stays on my nose. So sometimes I use that and I put it on my nose and it helps it last longer there. And then I took my matte foundation and this is a good tip for you guys. If you have a foundation that's more matte than others, I would definitely use that. And if you don't have anything special like that, definitely just make sure you use powder and also bring a compact with you to the DMV and maybe like right before they call your number, you could just pat your face down with a little bit of powder because having a shiny oily face in your pictures is never very flattering and it just tends to look better if you can soak up a little bit of that oil beforehand. So just be sure to use enough powder powder if you can. And then I am using this yellow concealer and the yellow concealer is going to get rid of my under eye circles because obviously I don't want under eye circles in my pictures. And then I use a regular color over the top of that just to kind of even everything out. And then I bake under my eyes with a powder just to make sure it stays matte and in place until the photos. I'm just gonna contour with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Now this is not something that you have to do if you don't wear a lot of makeup on a regular basis, but I personally do this every single day, so it's just part of my routine. But this does give you a little bit of definition to your face and it can give some shape to your face, especially with those blurry pictures that they take of you. So I just do my cheekbones and under my chin and also around my hairline. And you could also do around your nose, like down your nose if you want to contour your nose just a little bit. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is your eyebrows. And I'm using NYX's um, eyebrow color in chocolate, which I actually don't like really for this. Um, I used it on this day just because I felt like it, but it's a little bit too red for my taste. I would prefer the Anastasia Beverly Hills color in chocolate, but this is just gonna have to do because it's what I use this day. Um, but this is really important. This is my second tip, and it's to make sure your facial features pop from your skin or from the rest of your face because with driver's license photos i feel like they're just kind of like blurry and when you kind of just accentuate your facial features just a little bit more than usual it's going to make a huge difference and i was looking at my old driver's license photo and there are definitely things such as this that i would have done a little bit differently and i'll definitely show you guys a before and after because there is some good examples from this driver's license photo to my last so um, then I just took this taupey color from the Revealed Coastal Scents Smoky Palette and I put that in the crease as like a blender color. And then I decided to go with a purple, like a dark shimmery purple from the same palette for my outer corner and my crease. And for some reason, purples and plums are always my go-to combo for when I want to look my best. Like, does anybody else have the color combination that makes them feel the prettiest? Purples and plums, just do that for me. And they're always like my go-to when I wanna look my best, I don't know what it is. So that is what I did in my outer corner and my crease, 
but by the end I actually felt like it was pretty but it was just a little bit too cool for my taste so I decided to go in the It's Judy Time Pixie Palette and I picked up this kind of warmer plum and I just dusted that over everything and it gave it just a little bit of warmth that I felt like it needed and it was perfect so that's basically all I did for my crease and outer corner but I knew I wanted a little bit of shimmer so I went into the same palette the It's Judy Time Palette and I got the gold and the uh, champagne color and mixed them together and I put that right on top and I felt like it was the perfect amount of shimmer and I didn't want anything too overboard so I felt like this was perfect and then for my lower lash line I didn't want to go with anything too dramatic because I felt like in my last driver's license photo I did a little bit too heavy on the lower lash line and it just didn't look very good so I went in with like a light purple color and I just dusted that on my lower lash line a little bit and I felt like that was just enough and it was warm enough to where it didn't look like a big black line if you know what I mean so then I went in with this NARS Torrid blush, which I used to hate this blush. I used to review this blush in a bad way all the time because I didn't like how it looked on my skin, but I've been using it a lot lately and I actually really like it now. It's just a change of preference over the years. And then I went in with a liquid eyeliner and did a nice wing because you know I love my wing. So that's what I did on the top lash line. And then I did a little tiny bit of black coal liner in my waterline because I always do that every single day. And I blended it out just a little bit onto the lash line. And then for my lips, here's another big tip, guys. Make your lips pop. You do not want do not want your lips to disappear in the photo. This is crucial because in my last driver's license photo, I had like this nude color on and it was terrible. You couldn't even see my lips. So you definitely want to put a little tiny bit of color into your lips. Even if it's light, you want to make sure your lips at least show up in the photo. So I picked this really pretty kind of berry red mauve wine color and I think it looked really good. And then of course you need mascara, but since I'm going all out and I decided to make a video about this, of course I put fake eyelashes on and I'm glad I did because it made a huge difference and it gave some weight to my upper lash line, which my last driver's license photo didn't do. So this made a very, very big difference as well. Of course you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I actually preferred the fake eyelashes in the photo, so. that's it for this video so let me know if you have any comments or questions below in the comment section and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and if I can I will put a picture of how my driver's license photo ended up turning out hopefully it's good I still haven't done it yet so we're just gonna have to